spring is finally here. Goddamn took long enough, too. Like, it's almost May? Really? I mean, seriously. Fuck. But anyways, hey guys, well, got a OE battle here against a guy named Spex Victini. Like I said, it's an OE match. So, I'm using Bolt Turned. It's just, lately I haven't been that into Pokemon, so I just haven't made any new teams. So, it's just like, using what I got, and you guys don't seem to mind too much that I'm still using just what I got, as long as, <laughs> you know, it's a match. But, Bolt Turning team, because it's still fun as shit. Uh, opponent, he's just got kind of a pretty standard-ish team. I mean, the only unstandard thing is a Jolteon, and then kind of his team arrangement's a little bit weird. But, I mean, in general, you know, he's got stuff. Like, the only thing he's really lacking is a really strong physical attacker. I mean, he's got T-Tar, so, I mean, that's something, but it doesn't do much for him. So, main threats I'm looking at from his end are going to be that Gengar and that Caldeo, just because strong special hitters, uh, you know, you know, the best thing I really have for strong special hitters is Rotom, and to an extent, Celebi and Titar, so it's just, I gotta make sure I cover those two well enough, and, uh, you know, they're gonna be a pain in the ass, because once, like, Celebi's out of the way, or whatever, Gengar can generally run through my team pretty decently, so that's gonna be a huge thing I gotta watch out for, but shouldn't be too much trouble if I, you know, use my brain, but, uh, threats on, you know, those were the threats, so I was gonna say leads, but for some reason said threats, but leads on his end, I honestly thought he was just gonna leave a Titar or something, but most of his Pokemon... Rotom pair Yeah, I left my volume on. But Rotom pairs up decently against most of his team, so I figured let's just lead on with that. It should be the best option to do. He does lead off with Jolteon, I'm not really too scared even if he has the HP grass. So I'm just gonna go straight for Hydro Pump. He decides to go for the hidden power, I guess, thinking he had grass, but he actually had ice. Would have been would have done more to just go for Thunderbolt anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Maybe he predicted me to go to Landorus, I don't know. But I go for another Hydro Pump there, it does miss the T-Tar, which may or may not matter, I just don't know how much damage it would have done. I mean, if someone was running a damage calc, I'm just, a, I have no investment on my Rotom. But it looks like he's a choice man of T-Tar, because I just Volt Twitch, just to see kind of what's going on, and uh, he pursues me, and it doesn't kill, but, I mean, it shouldn't, because it's not super effective, so I figured he's choice banded for now, but getting on to Landorus, just get my rocks up, he goes into Skarm, which is a perfect opportunity for me to U-turn and uh, trap him with Magnezone. Unfortunately though, he will get back up to Sturdy because U-turn does absolute jack shit. So he will be able to get up his Stealth Rocks and, well I mean he would have gotten them up anyways. But since he will live the Thunderbolt because of Sturdy, he's able to get up a layer of Spikes which kind of sucks because that's going to wear down my team a pretty decent chunk. But at the very least, uh, I get to take down Skarmory. So I mean that's something right. Unfortunately though, since my Magnezone is Specs, he is able to bring in Jolteon basically for free and he can just do whatever the hell he wants. I guess he thinks I'm gonna go to Landorus again, or just thinks HP is safe, so he just goes for it. Uh, hits my Rotom, because I just brought in Rotom as Death Fodder, essentially, because it was at 50 health. It's not gonna live a Sandstorm hit anyways, so that's what I do. But I bring in Celebi, and I figure a Scarf U-turn should be enough to kill it, so I'm just gonna go straight for that. And he does switch out to his Tentacruel, which really doesn't make that much sense, because why would you bring a Tentacruel into a, a, a Celebi? It's just, it really makes no sense. But here, I figure since my lander says I have a decent amount of speed investment, I could go into that and outspeed and take him out with an earthquake, so I'm just gonna go straight for it. I actually miss saw how the lefties were going, so at first I thought he was faster, but I knew I could live a scald, so I was just like, fuck it, let's earthquake. But he goes into Gengar right here, and uh, yeah, he dodged the earthquake, and I'm like, alright, let's just HPS. I noticed though he does not have leftovers, so I know he's probably sub pain split, I do kind of make a mistake here and go for U turn, because I thought maybe he would just go for Shadow Ball and not want me to HP ice him again, because I, I kind of wanted Landorus more than I wanted, I guess, T-Tar, because I U-turned into that, because he had a sub up, and I'm like, alright, let's just snack this thing, hopefully figure something out, but he does just go straight for Pain Split, because he was like, hey, let's get some health back, because I have a free sub, and then kill me off of Focus Blast, which does hit, which sucks, but oh well. But at the very least, he is below half, so I should be able to go into Celebi and threaten him out, and just because I brought it in and Jolteon the last time, I thought he would figure I was Scarfed and maybe want to go for Psychic, so I go for Leaf Storm, predicting the Tyranitar just in case, because I know that thing's going to trap me either way. So I try and go for that. Unfortunately, he does stay in, but I do kill him, so... But now the problem is I'm at minus two, and T-Tar can come in freely and just take a Leaf Storm, and I will die. And here's where I'm not really sure if Hydro Pump Missing really mattered, because I'm not sure how much it would have done. I mean, that's about 40% left on it. Maybe I would have killed, maybe I wouldn't. I don't know. So I'm not going to make the judgment call, really. But I'm just going to go to Landorus here and just go for Earthquake because it'll kill anything, so I might as well do that. However, now, the problem is since I don't have Celebi or Rotom, he can bring in Caldeo. He does miss the Hydro Pump, though. 
which basically means I have a chance in this game. Well, a better chance, because basically my chance would have been I would have just let Landers die, gone into Magnet Zone, Thunderbolt, everything, because nothing wants to take a Thunderbolt, so it's just a matter of, you know, taking Hydro Pumps well enough and still being able to kill him and whatever. But going to Magnet Zone kind of just to sag it, since I now have Landorus, his Caldeo is low enough where a Mach Punch will take it out, so I'm not really too bothered in that sense. So what I'm going to do here is go into Infernape and bait out the Tentacruel essentially, because since now my Magnus and Volt Switch, I have no idea why he went out to T-Tar, I guess he just didn't want Hydro Pump to miss again, so, and he figured Caldeo was more important, so he sacked T-Tar and I go into Infernape off of the Volt Switch to bait out Tentacruel, because otherwise he could just Mach Punch me, you know? So I just go for U-Turn, knowing I can just go to Magnus and his Death Water, and then go back into Landorus and just Earthquake him, and then he can do whatever he wants on Landorus with his Caldeo, because I can just Mach Punch the Caldeo, so I'm able to take out the Tentacruel with Earthquake, and like I said, he's only got Caldeo left, and it's low enough to where a Mach Punch will fortunately take it out, so yeah, because he's got like nothing left, I mean, it, it's it's not living, because Sandstorm, I mean, he'll still live Sandstorm damage, but obviously, it, it's it's gonna die from this Mach Punch right here, so I'm just gonna send an Infernape, obviously, because this is my only guy left, and just hit him with a Mach Punch and take him out, so as he matched, so GG, Specs Victini. Um, that Hydro Pump miss was unfortunate, plus I just don't really know what he's doing with Caldeo at the end, but I, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but at the same time, it's just, you know, you, 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 you think about it. But, uh, that is it for this, so, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know, nothing else to really say, so, hope you guys enjoyed, such, such, blah, rig on my sub, and later, guys.